hey you guys welcome back to my channel so i have another pick a card reading this pick a card reading will be your next sexual encounter with them so i have four piles to choose from the first pile will be the moonstone live your purpose second pile will be the gate get back into balance third pile will be the hematite ground yourself and then the fourth pile will be the carnelian future creativity so a lot of you might be drawn to more than one pile pick more than one pile and use intuition the best that you can and i'll see you as you're reading hello pile one welcome so this will be what to expect your next sexual encounter live your purpose what happened for pile one What will happen for power one? I feel like you're, I don't want to say it, but I feel like you're being watched in this pile. You're being watched or observed. Oh my God. Didn't I say you, I feel like you're being watched. What the, by this person. Or by people, like, I don't want to say people. I feel like it's like a, it could be, yeah. It could be mostly, it could be a couple options. You got us watching you, Howlin. They fantasize with you. They're doing it in clever ways. I feel like you're very independent during this time with living your purpose with the moonstone. They feel like you're very like, you have your own shit or you have your own mindset, like you have an independent mindset. If you're not fully independent already, they can see that you're gonna be very great someday or you already are. It's like, you're that it girl. I feel like you're just beautiful inside and out. And I feel like this person has just been watching you and they're observing you in clever ways so that they don't get caught and so that they don't come off as a creep and so that they don't come out, come off as a stalker and so they don't come off as a fanboy like crushing over you like literally like corny like uh like coming off to you as like ill like i can just see you like being like ill if you found out how much they're into you you would just be like ill like i don't know like i don't know it's like <laughs> Ew, I'm getting like a teenage boy almost. Like, even if it's a grown man, like I'm getting, I'm just getting the energy of like a teenage boy almost when they like see their crush or something like that. And like their pants get like wet because of their dick. Like, you ever, like, I don't know if that makes sense, but like you, <laughs> like they come in their pants or something like that. Like a teenage boy, like, covering their hard dick or something like that if their crush were to walk by or something like that like or even get near them or a hug like if you were to hug them or just being laying in the same bed like i feel like they would immediately come or something like that like pre-come on accident or something like that and i'm feeling like you would be like ill or you would be like i don't know it's like they like you to the point where it's embarrassing or they fawned over you or they They have so much passion about you that it's embarrassing. It's quite embarrassing. It would be embarrassing for them. Like you wouldn't, I don't know. This person could be playing games though. This person could be darker skin, like deep, dark, beautiful skin. Don't have to be, but I'm getting that from this card. But that isn't for all of you though. But this person does, the next person you have sex with will have beautiful eyes, big eyes. Don't have to be light eyes from you guys, that is what it is. But some of you guys, it could be dark round eyes, almond eyes, big eyes, deep eyes, um, big nose. Your next sexual kind of will be somebody with like a big nose, not a small nose. They could have like a fair nose, but like big, 
some of you guys is big they have very strong facial features basically And somebody that's been watching you, your next sexual encounter will be with somebody that's been watching you. But you're never really going to know. Like, you're never going to really find out what this person's watching. Maybe you've been sensing it a little bit. But you're never really going to have receipts that they've been doing this because this person is so clever. Like, you can barely see a panther in this card. The only thing that's giving it away is the eyes. I feel like it's something about this person where they're not going to get caught. <laughs> By how much they like you or how much they like want to have sex with you and how much they admire you and fancy you that's too many cards yeah we got the devil i was kind of getting that kind of energy you guys could be doing like mirror magic I'm gonna show y'all and then I'm gonna observe the card because I don't like having to cover it up. You guys should subscribe to my Patreon because I actually get to show the cards and everything. And like, I don't shuffle when I do readings, I just do the audio. So it's like more relaxing and stuff. But let me look at this card back here. Let's see what I get. But so this per like this person could. You guys could be having sex, like your next sexual encounter might, you guys might have sex in, in a mirror. Yeah. Your next sexual encounter, you're gonna have sex in the mirror. Um, you guys might shout out different words, different cuss words, different saying, like chants, like chants to each other, um, affirmations, uh, words that create soul ties so this person might want you to say certain things while they're inside of you they might want you to repeat like repeat certain things back to them like chanting almost but i'm also getting that you might be hairy your next time just look how she's like hairy in the devil devil in the mirror so you might not you might be hairy next time like down there you're gonna be hairy they don't mind this though. They don't mind pubic hairs at all. They don't mind hair on your on you down there. Also, hmm. I feel like you're gonna with this card. I just feel like. What do I feel like? Your next sexual encounter. I feel like you're gonna be looking at your own body a lot. Like your own like how you look in the mirror, your body mostly, different positions. You're gonna be looking at yourself. You're gonna be very into yourself sexually. Like even if even having sex with them in the mirror. In the mirror or like not in the mirror, you're gonna be into yourself. Especially if you guys have sex in the mirror. Like you're gonna find yourself very, very pretty while looking into the mirror and saying different things to this person, whoever this Black Panther person is. Like, very sensual energy I'm getting for your next time. We got the Queen of Wands. So yeah, you're going to be into your body. I don't know if you've been working out. Even if you haven't, you're just going to be into your body. Especially in doggy, I'm feeling like. Or from the side in doggy. Or... This person, you like the way their phallic looks a lot. So I feel like you're going to be doing different things to kind of see it. So I feel like you're going to go down on them or something. For some of you guys, you're going to go down on them. For some of you guys, you're just going to be like infatuated with it. This person likes that you're infatuated with it because they're infatuated with you. Um, this person likes eye contact as well. They like kissing a lot. 
they like the directness of sex they don't like having sex that feels like you're not paying attention to them but i feel like you're kind of going to do that that might turn them on a little bit more though because i feel like they want your full attention so it's the fact that you're kind of going to be into your looks with the especially with the devil and the queen of wands you're going to be more so into your looks like how you look moaning how you look in certain positions and it's kind of going to make them go harder or make you say things out loud or something like that like say their name say different stuff i'm not sure but they this person likes direct eye contact direct attention in the bedroom so be careful with this person with the devil card and this black panther card because right here we got fascinating i'm really getting that this means that they're like infatuated with you or they're fascinated with you like an object like they see you as like an object basically that's how infatuated they are with you almost like in a trance so be careful with this person because they're moving off of like high they're moving off of like a high frequency of passion and that could easily turn into like anger jealousy um possessiveness then we got the six of pentacles for your next sexual encounter yeah because this is somebody that's hiding a lot of things and your next sexual encounter will be with somebody that like that hides a lot of things i don't know if they like i don't know they hide a lot of things so they have a lot of like, I feel like this person has a lot of deep, dark secrets. The next section counter. But they still feel this possessiveness over you. And it's kind of freaking me out. Because I feel like the, your next section counter will be with somebody that has obligations elsewhere. It could be another person. It could be financially. I just feel like it's something karmic regardless. It's something karmic that this person is like keeping hitting from you though. But all in all, it's going to be very passionate though. And you're going to like the signs of them inside of you, inside of your box. It's going to be like a perfect fit when you guys are having sex and stuff like that. I think both you guys are both really, really attractive. this person just could have possessive ways towards everything and towards everyone that they have sex with so if you're like the partner that they're having sex with now they are really like like they decide when they have sex with someone they feel obligation towards that person it's not just Oh, let's have sex and I'm gonna leave and leave you alone. Yeah, they could do that, but like I said, behind your back, they're doing something to keep up with you, like to stalk you, to watch you, to find out what you're doing, and or I don't want to say they're doing spells. I don't think they go that far, but I just feel like they do spell, like they make. I don't know something weird about this person because I don't feel like they're direct. They, this person isn't gonna directly show you that they're possessive, but. Your next session kind of is going to be at their place or your place or at a place with the ten of pentacles it's like a home environment we need a couple more cards for your next section encounter six of swords yeah they're escapism i definitely was getting there they when they come to have sex they're escaping from something something karmic so this definitely could be another person. This definitely could be financial. Like, it could be anything karmic. A relationship that they can't get out of. Uh, a job, a lifestyle that they can't get out of. This person could be like a... Why am I hearing Desperado by Rihanna? 
So this person could be, I don't want to say that they're on the run. <laughs> I definitely don't want to say that they're on the run. Then we got the seven of cups at the top of the deck. That's kind of giving me what I was getting from this panther the first time. So you guys could do it at your home, but I'm definitely sensing some type of mirror. It's low-key scaring me because like, I don't know. Mirrors are portals, so hmm. It's almost like this person leaves a portal wide open. I don't know. I don't want to go too deep, but I'm just getting like... Then we got the Hermit. So this person can have Virgo on their chart, or you do. This person can have a beard. Your next sexual kind will be with somebody that has a beard. Some of you guys, they don't have to have a beard, but I am getting for some of you guys that will be with somebody with a beard. Also, it like they're like coming in in a thief in the night, basically. So some of you guys, this... I'm getting desperado like this is someone who has been through a lot seen a lot maybe is still going through a lot or something like that but they're very strong this is somebody that's very very strong so they could be physically strong as well like big buff strong strong-minded that's why i'm getting like this person could do illegal work because like i said that they stalk you somehow, but they're not going to get caught. Like, whatever they do for a living, they're not going to get caught. It's like this person's very clever with the Six of Pentacles here. Then we got the word clever. This person is clever how they move and how they operate. It's clever as fuck. It's almost scary to the point I'm about to stop the read. Because <laughs> I feel like there's something on the back of my neck. Like, that shit is scary, bro. So let me stop the read because hell no. <laughs> like the possessive energy like they're they're so sneaky like it's scary because you don't know what this person has done or what they gotten away with you know in the past so i'm gonna close it out of here so if that did resonate part one um please like comment subscribe and i'll see you in my next post hello pile two so welcome to your reading so if you chose the gate get back into balance this will be your Next sexual encounter. What to expect. Sexual encounter, sexual encounter, and I'm like. Get the Phoenix card. Let me get one more card. I'm getting pulled up, like. Kind of have a feeling to pull one more out of this thing. Even though I didn't do that for any of the other. How will Pisces next sexual kind of be like? See you there. One more. Big transition, spiritual awareness, balance, individuality, beauty. That tiger for your next sexual encounter. Inner strength, dynamic, courageous. This person could have scars, or you could have scars, so stretch marks. You have stretch marks, they have stretch marks, or scars, like they're little scars. I don't know. Surgery scars uh scars from violence with the phoenix is giving me like i don't know like a warrior so this person could have been in the army or been did something like physically to get scars like a fight could be or um something to get like scars it could also be like spiritual scars you have spiritual scars they have spiritual scars or literal scars um, marking something where it's going to be noticed the next time you guys have sex it's going to be noticed basically so it's going to be somebody that you've been having sex with so they know all of your scars all of your 
stretch marks all the places you have scars something like that birthmarks you guys know each other body so this person might yeah be somebody you're already involved with and you're gonna notice them while having sex or you already did notice them having sex with them and they notice yours something like that or you're gonna notice new ones for some of you guys your next sexual encounter you're gonna notice new scars on them or feel how it resonates on you something like that from some type of like fight disagreement or from the past i think it's new though you have some from the past something like that you guys get y'all guys you guys get what i'm trying to say so that will happen your next sexual encounter you might ask them about it uh or you might keep it to yourself you might not want to trigger them or something like that they might not want to trigger you so they're not finna ask you i don't know but it's going to be noticed with spiritual awareness it could also be spiritual scars like mm, you guys are on the same level of you guys will like your next session kind of will be with somebody where you guys are on the same spiritual uh awareness at the moment if that makes sense so whatever he moves your eyes is going to attract this person to come and have sex with you. So if you're happy, it's going to attract this person. If you're sad, it doesn't matter. It's just like going to attract them. But it doesn't have to be an old person. But you're just going to notice like scars. While you guys are naked, obviously. Or while you're naked. So you guys will have, you guys won't keep your clothes on basically. It won't be like, oh, you keep your panties on or your bra on. It's gonna be where you guys can like see certain things. Yeah, this person definitely two of cups. gonna be in a building so it could be an apartment complex could be a hotel room i'm getting a like a building so apartment complex their apartment your apartment or a hotel room or something like that or you might meet them you or you met them i don't know something with like a building This person might try to kiss you out on a balcony or something like that. Or it's going to start out on the balcony and you guys are going to bring it inside. Or... This might be somebody you're in a relationship with. Or is growing towards that. With the two of cups. But we do have dynamic. And balance and beauty. And like even numbers are considered to me as balanced so i feel like this would be somebody that genuinely likes you has feelings for you definitely this will actually be like somebody that has genuine feelings for you outside of sex they have feelings involved growing feelings Eight of Swords. I feel like this person has a sex addiction. Whether you know about this or you don't know about it, this person has a sex addiction, definitely. They've had a sex addiction for a long time or yeah, they have a sex addiction. Whether they masturbate a lot or they have sex with a lot of people. And it doesn't mean that they're having sex with a lot of people now. It could be if you guys aren't in a relationship, but I'm just kidding. This was like, they had a, they had a sex addiction that they were going through. I don't know if you opened up their awareness. Yes, spiritual awareness. I feel like you opened up their awareness to the sexual addiction. Um, you might've called them out about it, or you might've like, I don't know. Like, I just feel like this person has a sex addiction. 
I'm not finna lie to y'all on this channel. I feel like this person has a sex addiction with the Eight of Swords. That's the first thing that popped up into my mind. This person has some type of like, they need sex. They need sex, they need sex. They need to like, uh, like this person probably looks like sexual things and it doesn't even, it doesn't even seem like it's sexual anymore. And it's getting to the point where it's like, they can't even feed their sexual desires how they used to because they're so like, uh, it's like a sensory overload of like how much they've been addicted to sex. So for some of you guys, this person could be working on their celibacy, like holding back from sex. So when they do have sex, it is good because having too much sex, it makes sex like, you know, like you have sex too much. It's like you become even more numb than you were before you, you know, cause people have sex like that when they're numb to feel things. But if you have too much sex, back to back, like I'm talking about like for years or whatever this person may, might have been going through, it starts to like, the sex starts to become like, they might, they might want more. They might want to do more extreme things to heighten their sensory a little bit. That makes sense because this person went through like a sensory overload with the eight of swords, with this sex addiction that they have. But this person has feelings for you though it's just i am getting i'm picking up on a sex you basically your next session account will be somebody that's been struggling with a sex addiction like they i don't know let's see what else they even know something and they know something is wrong with them though when it comes to that, like how unhealthy it is and how it might have like hurt other relationships in the past or with you. At the four of pentacles. Yeah, this person definitely, yeah. Cause it's like almost like he's counting the money up and putting it in the bag so she can take it home. So definitely getting like prostitutes. You could have been a sex worker or a prostitute. This is how they met you through exchange like that. So you kind of already know they had a sex sex addiction because you kind of like seduced them yourself or they've been doing this before they met you. Like paying for prostitutes, paying for sex, like OnlyFans or in per I think both OnlyFans in person, like following girls that show like their ass and boobs on instagram and like dming them wanting to fuck wanting to like link up the first night and fuck them because they feel you know this is the type of energy that they've been on and it's not healthy because it's like they can't they're noticing that they can't have anything special doing this shit they ruin a lot of things doing this dming up girls that they know just want the money to fuck and it's like an ongoing cycle that they're stuck in, I think, or they were, or they still are. I think they're just going through the motions right now. So I don't know where the person is in their stages of like their sex addiction, but they definitely were like paying for sex though. Just some money. Let's pay for sex strippers. They like strippers, all that type of like kinky shit online, offline. I feel like this person can even tell like who's a hoe in person. Like if they go out, yeah. If they go out to like a store, Walmart, it doesn't matter, like the club, they can kind of tell by now what girl is a type that will go for what they want, if that makes sense. Like they know who's a classy girl, who's not gonna go for it, but then who's gonna go for it, like who's gonna fuck, who's gonna be easy, like an easy girl, like an easy type of girl. Um, so your next sex encounter is like, I'm just like, it's going to be with a set, like somebody that's involved with this type of shit. They, and with the page of uh, cups, I feel like they are developing feelings for you, but it's just like, it's like, yeah, because in the beginning I was like, it's not just sex for them. But I feel like they're trying to breadcrumb you though with the feelings that they have with the Page of Cups. Like, if that makes sense. Like, you're gonna have sex with them. Yeah, it's gonna be good. 
yeah it's always good probably I, i'm getting the intuition that's always good with them but i feel like when it comes to the emotional part they breadcrumb the fuck out of you or starve you of this with the page of cups and that's not fair because they do have feelings for you i think there's just a heavy blockage here with the eight of swords so for you guys who picked this pile it's gonna be really good very intimate i think when they have sex with you though it's like intimate as hell it's like the intimate like it's it's the most loving intimate way that they can get and they get that way with you and i know some of y'all are like that's some bullshit like, i don't give a fuck like you out here you know but i feel like with you it's like different and i know you guys don't want to hear that shit because i wouldn't want to hear that shit either if i picked this file but it's like i'm getting the energy of like when they have sex with you it's different because you could see here he's like paying her to leave him alone or whatever the fuck like this could be a strip or anything like it could be a prostitute i don't know like <laughs> whatever they've been into you know but with you it's the two of cups the, like intimate there's feelings involved they actually care about your feelings they're becoming more sincere it's taking i think that it's like they're slow about it because like i said they've been through a lot when i was breaking down their personality with the phoenix and the tiger and all that like this person could have actual scars and stuff like that like a real dark dirty past but i'm feeling like this could be a reason why they have sex addictions but anyways like with you it's like so intimate to them at least to them it might kind of piss you off because it's like i don't know this person is going as far as it can go with their feelings is what i'm feeling because they have blockages that they haven't fully dealt with and you're helping them with this but don't hurt yourself because i feel like they can only be the page of cups not because they don't want to be the king of cups it's because they literally spiritually can't be the king of cups they would be the toxic king of cups if they actually were you know this person's like kind of like taking their time but they have feelings for you And the next time you guys have sex, it's gonna be intimate, like like love making, like nude, fully nude, like naked. Like this person feels naked when they're with you. They don't feel ashamed of anything when they're with you. They feel like, uh, like they're showing you their scars, like they're showing you who they are in that moment of having sex with you. Let me get one more card. I'm gonna close it out. I know some of y'all are like, I'm pissed. <laughs> well, you didn't want to hear that about shit. It came through. Yeah, see? I just feel like, Page of Cups, Knight of Cups. I just feel like this person, then we got the... So this person finds you sexy as fuck. Like, they, don't get me wrong. They find you very, very fucking attractive very attractive like very attractive i feel like they like you're very good on the eyes like you're like they desire you a lot but it's just it's taking a little time because they they're so used to um superficial things and they're so used to numbing themselves out or doing stupid shit to feel things if that makes sense like impulsive stupid shit so i feel like with you they're trying to take their time because i actually feel like they don't want to mess this up i'm genuinely feeling like your next session encounter is someone who cares about you is someone who's been going through a lot of things been through a lot of things and they're remorseful they're a little bit more mature now yeah they're maturing with these two cards they're maturing emotionally um Aries, Sag, Leo is here. Yeah, this could have been this could have started off sexual pretty fast, basically. So like with you, I feel like they it starts off sexual all the time when they have sex, because I feel like they don't really care for the girls. It's just what it is, what it is for the time being, because they're so numb. 
and so like hurt inside or whatever but i think with you it started off sexual as well and i feel like with you it's like a little bit more there to it it's not just like a nut off so they're confused about this right now but it's kind of it feels good though it feels good to them but it's confusing i don't feel like they're rejecting it at all because the knight of cups and the page of cups is here somebody that actually likes what's going on between the two of you and they don't want to ruin that they don't want to make you feel insecure because you're in your power and the queen of wands energy so they would never want to bring up another female they would never want to discourage you or make you feel like they don't want you because of whatever whoever they really are into you and they're like kind of taking their time but like with sex they really want to smash you like they want to have intimate sex sessions with you like it means something to them basically so that's what i have for you if it did resonate please like comment subscribe and i'll see you in my next post hello pile of three so if you chose the hematite ground yourself this will be your <laughs> reading on your next sexual encounter so let's see what we get for your next time What's about threes next? What's the next sexual counter gonna be like? Hummingbird. Confidence, motion, adventure. We got the ram. And koala. So I feel like your next sexual encounter with ground yourself. So it's gonna be. Let's just pull your cards first. We got a ladybug too. This person misses you. There's someone who misses you. I just saw the Queen of Cups. Yeah, I'm gonna just keep her. This is somebody who misses you a lot. You could be a water sign. Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Or they are. They have water in their chart. You have water in your chart. But I really feel like you are a water sign, maybe. You don't have to be, but they see you as... If you're not a water sign, they see you as a Queen of Cups. This is someone who misses you. You're very gentle. You're very wise. You're very calm to them. You're very seductive. You're very beautiful. You're very alluring. You're very, yeah, you're very beautiful. Very beautiful to them. Like, very beautiful. Like, this person could look at your face all day. This person could grab your face a lot, grab your hair a lot, or they will do this next time you guys have sex. <clears throat> a lot of pulling of the hair, pulling of the face, like, grabbing your neck. Yeah, grabbing, grab your neck, massages maybe even, back kisses, yeah, back kisses, um, grabbing the neck, chin, face, cheeks, hair, ears, they really like how all that area looks. And it's crazy because I feel like you're a little bit insecure about your body. Cause she has her face covered up. You got it. Wow, it's almost like the perfect pair. I'm not gonna lie, right now, how they look to me. <laughs> like the cards, like I don't know. But she's actually tied up. Let me see. Yeah, she's tied up. Hold on, let me see. She's tied up right here. And he's like. I feel like this person could be an earth sign and you're a water sign, I'm not sure. It's a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or they have earth placements in the chart, or it's flip it's flip-flop. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be an earth or a water sign, but you could see them as a earth sign type of energy though. Or this is how they feel for you. Like they coming off to you as like they they want to come off to you as a as a, um King of Pentacles. Like very nurturing 
I feel like this person kind of like <laughs> I don't even want to comment y'all with the daddy issues but you guys I just feel like this person wants to come off as very mature very mature of their emotions very logical very like cool calm and collective like very like dominating towards you but not too dominating like this person wants to like yeah we got the ram this could definitely be a taurus or they're coming off as a taurus very like nurturing they could cook they could like to cook they cook for you or this person next session kind of they're going to bring you food or cook for you and then you guys are going to have sex like it's not the type of person that rushes thing with the koala this person could sleep sleep a lot or this person could, this person's older than you Power three. The next person you have sex with is going to be older than you. Or this person is just very wise. They could come off. They don't talk though. So your next session kind of, they're not going to talk as much. Or they're not going to talk as much, but they're going to get straight to the action. Like kissing, rubbing you, like really kissing you though. Like tongue kissing you, lip biting lip sucking, cheek kisses, forehead kisses, neck kisses, back kisses. This person could want to see you in like heels, in like a certain lingerie. This person has fetishes though. But they, like I said, they're not going to show you this. They might show you this next time though. But this person has fetishes though, like certain things that they like that you might pick up on. Like certain positions, uh, certain clothing items, certain like things they like to look at during sex or like they need or something like, I don't know. Fetishes, I'm definitely getting that but, like. A certain kink or something that they have that you have too so what that kink is that you guys share i'm not sure and i feel like you, you could have like manifested this person in sexually because you guys have the same scene the same kink so for some of you guys it could definitely be i don't want to butcher it but you guys obviously i butchered that um daddy daughter kink i'm not, <laughs> I'm not gonna do the abbreviation but i think this is what kink that you guys both have this person can unknowingly know, unknowingly have the kink though. But it's just something that, it's other kinks too though that they have that you have. Or that you don't have but they have but you're picking up on them. Like sh like strange kinks that they have. You can have other strange kinks too other than the daddy daughter. But I think you guys both share daddy daughter though. This person could be embarrassed about these kinks. Well, not embarrassed, but some of you guys, you could have looked up certain things. Like they looked at, like say that they're into a certain kink and they don't know why. They could have like went on Google for hours and like kind of like thought something was wrong with them or think that they're sick because they like certain things. And like this person kind of thinks they're sick. Or you could have called them sick. <laughs> or you could have said like something like you're weird or I don't know, something that they went home and looked up some shit like why like like imagine somebody typing in Google like why do I like this during sex? Or why do I need this from my person during sex? What does this make me? Like, I don't know, it's like this person is like I don't know. We got the five of wands. This person, yeah. This person, um, I'm being one of five. We got the judgment. Yeah, they could feel like you might judge them if they come out and show you these kinks. They could have already showed you some of it to a certain extent, but I think they have kinks. Like, and I don't know what they... 
like extreme kinks like extreme more than that and they could feel like they're sick with the with the world card because he's like alone studying something but looks very like if you look close at the card he looks tired or he looks exhausted or he looks like worried or something or embarrassed about something Who knows, you might be into this type of stuff, so I don't know, ask your person next time you guys have sex or I don't know, make them feel, mm -hmm. I mean, as long as it's not going to hurt you, because like I said, I don't know what kinks they are, but they could be like real extreme, but they are, they have this nurture, you know what's weird, it's like this person is like very nurturing outside the bedroom though, like they, they type to want to cuddle. They're the type to want to kiss up on you. They're the type to want to be up under your breast with the Queen of Cups. Literally want to suckle your breast, be up under your breast, suck your boobs, put their face on your boobs, fall asleep on your breast, squeeze your breast, one hand on your breast while they fall asleep. Very like mama's boy maybe. Maybe they have mommy issues. Yeah, this person could have mommy issues. You could have daddy issues. They help fulfill your needs in that aspect they you help fulfill their needs yeah that could be what it is you feel like you help them fulfill like that mommy issue shit with the like yeah next time you have sex the next time you guys have sex it's gonna fulfill some type of mommy issues they might have two more cards Eight of yeah, this person's in deep reflection about these kinks. <laughs> oh no. Mm. They're in a deep reflection about it. Looking some things up. Trying to figure themselves out. But honestly, your person shouldn't think too hard about it because all every sex everything's a spectrum i know there's categories and shit but really it's a spectrum of how far you'll go to do certain kinks and stuff like that so it's, a, it's definitely a spectrum it's definitely a level to the shit like see so person really shouldn't worry about it high priestess i think you know intuitively know this person has uh like they're coming, like you intuitively know that they're the king of pentacles, earth sign or not, but it's like they're, <laughs> into, they could be into like black leather, whips, chains and whips and all that dark like like kinky shit basically but they king of pentacles is giving me like they put on uniform they dress really nice they have this sophisticated aura about them but when they have sex it's more so way different element way different person than people think that they're into so i don't know <laughs> I don't know. You guys know because you're the high priestess. You're coming up as the high priestess. You see everything. You know everything. You sense everything. I think you even sense when this person is coming. Or you sense when this person is horny. Or you sense when this person is about to hit you up or when they miss you. Because this person hits you up like perfect timing maybe. Yeah. Your next sexual counter with them would be perfect timing. It's going to be during a time where you're very like ovulated. You want to have sex. You miss them. They miss you. Like, you want to release stress. Definitely at night. Some of you guys might have sex during the super full moon. When the moon is, like, very close to Earth. You can, like, wear wolf vibes. Like, this person might actually go really rough with you during the super full moon. If not super full moon, the next full moon, you guys are going to have sex and... It's almost like they're going to turn into a werewolf. They could have the aesthetic of like very beastly for some of you guys. Or for some of you guys, they're going to have a lot of hair. 
or something like that or like, <laughs> you know such a kind of they have hair on their chest or something Your next sexual encounter might be with someone that has kids. Don't have to be. At the higher front. But this person definitely has kinks. So look at what he's doing to her. I feel like it's like certain positions that they need to see or something like that. I don't know, like visual visualization. Like voyeurism, they could be into voyeurism, but I feel like it's like more than that. It's like some darker things that they they need control and power and all that. But yeah, that's what I have for you for your next sexual encounter. Um, if it didn't resonate, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next post. Welcome, pal, for to your reading. So this will be your next sexual encounter. I feel like it's something to look forward to. Something wait, something worth waiting on, waiting for, being celibate for. For some of you guys, if you're being celibate, yeah, I'm hearing this. Your next sexual encounter will be something worth waiting for. Um, it'll be worth it. It'll be very. Hmm. Some of you guys have been celibate in this pile or you're working on your celibacy or you just took a break from sex for a minute pile four so i feel like it's going to be worth it for this person or this next sexual encounter is going to be worth it it's gonna let's see any details about that you got cougar so some of you guys could be a cougar some of you guys could be older than this person female or male does not matter you're gonna be older than this person yeah you're gonna be older than this person the next person that you have sex with i don't know if some of you guys this person might lie about their age because maybe you don't go for younger guys for me for some of you guys you're gonna already know that they're younger than you for some of you guys this person is younger than you but they act older than you and look older than you or for some of you guys they just look older than you but you are more mature with the cougar card because it says assertive wise decisive like you are very decisive and you know what you want i feel like you're going into a new energy where you're feeling very sexual very sensual very wise very like open with your sexuality like you have set boundaries and you're very like confident and you're very decisive about what you want like you make your wants known this can come out very sexual, very sexy to your next sexual partner. Like it's gonna come out very sexy to them. Like very alluring, very different. Some of you guys might conceive uh, your next sexual encounter or you might end up at the first time some of you guys you will conceive your next sexual encounter but for some of you guys this might be the person that you end up having a child with if you decide to do that like if you decide you want to keep having sex with this person yeah it says step outside your comfort zone if you change your approach, you change your direction. I feel like each inspired action take action taken will deliver you to your heart's desires. So I feel like this might, you might, your next sexual encounter, you might have to insinuate the sexual part, if that makes sense. I think you're going to be the more, yeah, your next sexual encounter, you're going to be the more dominant energy the more assertive energy the more like hornier energy because i feel like most of you guys in this problem very celibate are working on finances like working heavily on career 
you aren't so worried about you weren't so worried about sex but now you're like horny could be or when you meet this person you're gonna be like more like in the masculine energy like just wanting to like release stress <laughs> yeah we got the ace of pentacles yeah you've definitely been working on finances or your finances are going very well so when you have sex with this younger energy younger person i feel like it's just to relieve stress point blank period for the most of you in this pile i'm here for some of you guys you might just get ahead from them with the five of cups wanting to come out you might just want oral like i said you're gonna be very vocal about what you want so if you just want head you're gonna tell them i just want head i don't know <laughs> yeah the five of cups yeah i feel like most of the, like you're gonna be telling them what to do and how to do it and where to do it like i feel like you're gonna be teaching them probably what to do to you how to do it to you like what you like what you do's and don'ts like you're gonna be like yeah so i feel like i don't know yeah because he's lower i feel like you're gonna be this masculine gonna be very submissive towards you i don't think you want it any other way though but for some of you guys, this person is going to lie about their age or something like that. <laughs> like they might say that they're the same age as you or older or something like that. Because how they physically, they physically look, I don't know. So we got the sun card. So it could be a Leo. Or you might, or this person might hit you up during like the evening time. Or you might meet them. I don't know, but I'm not getting that this is like a random person. It might be for some of you guys since you have been being celibate. But I feel like most of you guys, this is somebody that's been annoying you to have sex maybe. <laughs> or like in your DMs constantly or texting your, your phone constantly, but you've been working on yourself, your finances and stuff like that. Your career... You're just been more self-focused, so I think majority of you guys, you know this person has been has been wanting to have sex with you or something like that. But you just haven't been, either you haven't been having time, you weren't interested or both, but I think, I, I'm getting an energy that you're going to kind of use them for sex. Like you don't really want a relationship right now. the will of fortune king of pentacles <laughs> so this could be an earth sign taurus capricorn virgo the next person you're gonna have sex with um if it's not an age difference for some of you guys which i'm kind of getting that from majority guys this person is gonna be younger they could just be coming up as younger energy because you're going to be the, mo the more dominant assertive one so they're going to like kind of sit back and observe you and do it like the things you tell them to do in the bedroom so if you don't want to do this you're going to tell them if you want to do this you're going to tell them and stuff like that you're not going to like really ruin the mood ne necessarily but it's kind of like you're not going to go for anything in the bedroom that you don't want to do just to please them basically i'm not getting the energy at all with the cougar car i'm getting like more like you're going in this sexual experience to please yourself and yourself only <laughs> basically like being selfish energy like selfish selfish energy you're not you're not wanting to just have sex to please this king of pentacles for a relationship or so they can stay or you know you're doing this because you've been celibate or they're just horny as fuck out of like 
a long time of not really engaging in sex. So this could be somebody that's like been annoying you, been blowing up your, been blowing up, been blowing up your phone, been texting you, calling you, been wanting to see you, but you kind of like this could be somebody you had sex with before actually. Or some of you guys. But I am getting a, an annoyance from them towards you. <laughs> like you're an annoyance. Like this person's been annoying you a little bit. So we got the seven of wands for your next sexual encounter. I'm gonna get one more card. And then I'm gonna close it. This reading. Cause I kinda already got the feel of who this person's gonna be. Let me just get one more. Because I'm low key kind of nosy. <laughs> uh, since the wheel is here, any fixed signs Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius, uh, Leo? Did I say Leo already? You have options though. Yeah, definitely with the Eight of Cups wanting to come out. Uh, what about to say? Your next sexual encounter. This person been wanted you, or been wanting to have sex again, or been wanting to have sex for the first time. I think you're like teasing them in a way, but it's coming off as that. But I feel like you're just uninterested. You're more you're more self focused. Like you've been masturbating probably a lot in this pile, or looking at porn or something like that in this pile. Like you'd rather do that than to engage with somebody that's gonna waste your time. So I feel like it's gonna be. You might have a couple drinks, or you might do something during the day with this sunset right here that's gonna make you horny by the time like night comes i'm getting and for some of you guys if this isn't a king of pentacles like a actual earth sign they might try to bribe you with money not that you're a prostitute but it's like you're a grown woman you're in this cool your energy you do what you want to do um i'm getting that yeah i don't know or even not if it's not money involved they don't try to like take you out spend money on you to like ha fuck you i think they could have the king of pentacles aesthetic like very very charming very very like slow moving maybe this pissed you off in the past or maybe they're shy i'm not sure but i just feel like they're gonna be the submissive one with the king of pentacles and they know you have options They definitely know you have options. They could they could know you like older men. Yeah, they could know that you like older men. You go for older men, men that are older than you. But at the same time, you still fuck on this younger masculine, I guess. This could like confuse them a lot with this eight of wands. He looks confused in that boat. It looks like he's writing a letter. Or it thinks about... Something a lot. I don't know if it's you. Or I think it's a lot. I think you guys are both kind of like... Your next session kind of you guys are both going to be stressed out with a lot of things in your life um a lot of things going on that's like building building up and you're gonna like finally give in to this person i think from majority guys you know who this annoying this energy that comes off annoying you know who this person is um also too with the other options i feel like they feel weird that they're okay with engaging with you sexually when they know when they subconsciously believe or know that you don't really want to be with them. You're just using them to really stress and to have fun and stuff like that. So they're confused about their feelings about this, but 
I'm not really getting heartbreak yet, but I feel like this person might get their heart broken by you. I don't know. But yeah, that's how your next sexual counter will go. Pile 4, if it did resonate, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next post.